If you ask any financial advisor, they've likely never heard anyone complain about having too much income in retirement. Joining me now is Rick Hughes, the founder and CEO of Hughes Retirement Group, a Chattanooga area firm that focuses on preparing people for retirement. Now, Rick is a popular radio show host and, of course, now popular on News 12 as well. Hey, Rick, how are you? Doing well, Jess. How about you? Doing great. Good. All right. So we're talking about income planning. So First off, why is income planning so critical for retirement? Well, let's think about it. You're used to having a paycheck. You know, they pay you here, right? And you expect to get paid for your services. Mm -hmm. Totally understand that. And then one day, all of a sudden, you retire and that paycheck stops. Yeah. So if you have not built a plan, that paycheck's not going to be there. And, and a lot of people, of course, rely on Social Security. I understand that. But hopefully you have other streams of income that will meet that need. And you mentioned Social Security. So if someone has Social Security or a pension... Is that typically enough? Typically, I say it's not, but it okay. depends on what their net income goals are. So mm -hmm. I don't want to tell viewers out there, if you only have Social Security or if you only have a pension or both, that that's not going to be enough. But it, com it comes down to how much do you need each right. month. And that comes into your goals and yes. how you want to live your retirement as well. Absolutely. All right. So how can income planning help with our approach to the stock market? Well, again, the stock market, uh, especially lately, has been very volatile. Uh, we've been on a bull run for a long time. Uh, we're due for a bear market. Now, hopefully that we don't see that in 2022, mm -hmm. but the volatility is there. So you wanna try to dial back the risk if you're thinking about retirement right now because you don't wanna take a chance of losing a lot in your portfolio. And I wanna expand on that just a little bit. You mentioned you wanna think about it if you're approaching retirement. Right. So, when do you think it's important for us to start having this conversation with you and your team? You know, really the, the niche market would probably uh, maybe in your mid-50s. Okay, perfect. Okay, because when you're in your younger years, you're trying to accumulate wealth. You're in the accumulation phase. As you're getting ready to retire, you're in the distribution phase. So it's important to test drive and see what you actually need. So don't wait until the day before or a month before retirement to try to develop a plan. Right, which of course, it's never too early or too late to meet with you guys either. All right, moving on to my next question. We talk about, we we're talking about the stock market. Why is it important to really understand your risk level at this stage of entering into retirement? Well, because if we were to experience a bear market or if we were to go back to a 2008 or 2001, you do not want to lose a vast majority of your portfolio because you've taken all those years to accumulate wealth and then in one day or one week, you, do, you could see it just wiped out. Mm. So it's important, again, I believe, as you get older to find out what your risk, to risk tolerance is and, and usually dial back that risk. Perfect. All right, let's talk about, again, how can tax planning help with our income needs? We talked about knowing what your retirement goals are, what your net income needs are. So how does tax planning play well, into that? Well, you know, I wrote an article for Forbes not too long ago about could your taxes double in the future? Right. The Congressional Budget Office says that taxes possibly will have to double in order to pay for all the plans we have. Now, a lot of people out there would say that would be nuts. We would never see that happen. I want you to do the research. Go back to 1960 to 63, when if you were making $8,000 a year, you were taxed at 26%. Mm -hmm. If you were making 175000 a year, you were taxed at 87%. Mm -hmm. So taxes could go very high in the future with the debt that we presently have in this right. country right now. I'm going to encourage folks out there, you know, touch base with us. Let's yes. develop a, a tax plan or a tax strategy. Perfect. And exactly. Speaking of touching base, Rick and his team are making it easy for you, for our viewers right now. If you'd like to learn more about building multiple income streams for your retirement, Rick has a great offer for you. Right now, for the first five callers with a portfolio of 250000 or greater, he's offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. This will allow Rick and his team to personally work with you and provide you with a roadmap, analyzing where you are right now and your best steps moving forward. The phone number to call is on your screen.